everybody, it's Christine. I'm here to do my weekly wrap up, but I'm going to try and do this before my son gets home from camp. Um, we had the big family reunion on Saturday at my mother-in-law's camp, and then yesterday we ended up going to my sister-in-law's camp, and my son stayed the night because he wanted to go fishing. So, um, don't mind the mess behind me. I'm rearranging some things to be a little bit more productive for me. Um, so anyways, the first book I finished was The Little Old Lady Who Broke All the Rules by Katharina Engelman Sundberg. And this was funny. I gave it a five, I think. Um, I loved it. It's about a little old lady and her four friends who are in this, like, old age home. And everybody thinks that old people are useless. They just shove them off to the side. And a new owner comes in. And they lose all their privileges and little things. And they get put on drugs to make them sleep longer. And they rebel. So they want to make money quick. And so they end up... Um, what's the first thing they did? Um, they go to this hotel, this ritzy hotel. And notice that all the patrons are putting their valuables in this cupboard. So they arrange to steal from them. And then they go on to other things. And it's really funny. Like They, they want to get caught, but they don't. Because they want to go to prison. And because they've seen this documentary where prisoners are treated much better than the old folks. So they think they're going to get really treated well in prison. And it's just, it's a calamity of errors. And it's funny. Um, I know the second book, it's, it's Swedish. It's translated from Swedish. The second book is in English. I don't think the third one is yet. Um, but my library has a second book. So I'll be picking that one up soon. Then I finished... The Weight Loss Surgery Guide and Diet Program by Sue X. Cersei. Um, and the first half of it is what to expect before, ap during, and after your surgeries. And then the rest are recipes. And in case you didn't know, um, I actually might be putting in my papers to get the sleeve done because the Weight Watchers is just not working for me because of my other medical problems. So it kind of... I gave it a five because it was not only by a Canadian, but a Canadian working in the Ontario part, and that's where I am. So it kind of gives me a little bit better insight what to expect here. Um, so yeah, it's... Uh, sorry. Um, yeah. And then I read Diary of the Wimpy Kid, the first one. Um, my son was reading it, so I read it too. And I think I gave this one a three, three or four. It's, you know, it's, it's middle grade. It's funny. I read it in like two hours. So yeah, it's just about a kid in middle grade going through his first year at, I guess it would be junior high. So yeah, I'm, I've watched the movie several times because my kids have them. And I thought it was a little bit different from the first one, but I keep mix, mix, that. I keep mixing up the first and the second one, uh, Roderick Rules. So I'm going to have to rewatch the first one again. And then I read Libra Bray's Beauty Queens. And this is Lord of the Flies meets Hunger Games meets um, Saturday Night Live. This was funny. I love the satire in it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, there's transgender, there's bisexual, there's gay. Um, and it, it really does make a, f like a farce of, or a satire of what people do to be a beauty pageant. And I think it's ridiculous. Um, that's just my personal opinion. If you're part of beauty queens or beauty pageants, um, more power to you. I just don't agree with, um, three and four year olds being made to look like they're 30. I, I really don't. I, there's too many perverts in this world and, um, kids need to be kids. So, yeah, um, if that's your own decision, then you made an educated decision, and that's perfectly fine. But, yeah, I loved it. I gave it a five, just because it it was so funny. <laughs> and there is, like, you know, what these girls come to realize, that it's not just all about looks. Yeah. I hope that wasn't a spoiler. Um, like, it's... Yeah, so I'm still reading Scarlet. I did not get much read this weekend. Well, I got maybe a third of the way through, 
and I only read for like two hours Saturday night and two hours last night or sorry Friday night and last night and I have not even picked it up today so yeah it's Scarlet by Marissa Meyer and uh, my husband actually thought he he's seen the last name Meyer and he's like no not another Twilight <laughs> he goes are they sisters I said no 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 um, I said this is fairy tale retellings and it was funny the look on his face when he thought it was another Twilight book um, but yeah anyways so this is the second in the Lunar Chronicles and it's the Little Red Riding Hood retelling I'm liking it so far um, I think I like Cinder a little bit better but I'm liking it so far and so once I finish that I'm probably going to go to these two I don't know which one's first I think they're both by Gail Foreman. I think the first one is Just One Day and the second one is Just One Year. Um, I think it's um, a girl meets up with a guy and it, it's their the day spent. Uh, House of First Encounters laid back Dutch actor Willem at an underground performance of Twelfth Night. There's an undeniable spark. So when fate brings them together a second time, Allison takes an uncharacteristic leap, changes course and follows Willem to Paris. So I don't want to go too far because I don't know which one's which. Oh, look for Gale Farms just one day. So I'm, yeah, I'm going to have to look and see which one's which. But I'll probably be reading these two. And I'm still, we're still reading, um, what was it? Ghost Beach. That's what it was. It was Ghost Beach by Arl Stein. Um, my son still hasn't finished it, so I'm probably just going to finish it just because I have to know what happens and um, yeah so that's my week um, thank you so much for watching I hope everybody has an awesome week and I'll see you next time bye